Hi guys, today I want to talk about my 26 week pregnancy update. So let's hop right in and I'll show you guys my bump. I feel like it's really starting to grow crazy every day. It seems like it's even bigger, <laughs> but this is 26 weeks. So let's just get into some random physical symptoms. My belly button was kind of sore for a few days this week, and it wasn't every single day, it was just every once in a while, it just kind of felt sore. Like just that general area right around my belly button just felt like it was kind of achy, so it was kind of tender a little bit. My nails have been looking awesome. They have been looking awesome since the beginning pretty much, but I'm like totally in love with just how good they are. <laughs> and they're like growing long, and they're strong, and they're tough, and I mean, that's it's a great perk of being pregnant. I did feel my first Braxton Hicks this week and it was kind of an uncomfortable feeling and I was I didn't quite know what it was at first and I was like what is going on this is kind of strange but then I realized that's it's probably a Braxton Hicks contraction so don't worry about that but it was just weird it was just it just felt weird so I wouldn't say it was hurty but it just wasn't normal <laughs> so I just the feeling of it was just kind of something different and that's the first one that I've felt so far I think and I haven't felt any since either so it was just that one day this past week another thing that I've noticed is back aches are not a constant thing like I could be making dinner one day and get a backache just from walking around the kitchen but then the next day I'll do the same exact thing and my back won't hurt so it's kind of an off and on thing once again even when I'm doing the same stinking thing it will or will not hurt it's not always a constant so I don't know what that's about I can't really predict whether or not I'm gonna have one or I don't know how that works I had another round ligament pain this week from sneezing which I haven't had any round ligament pain in several weeks so that was kind of weird I've got an acne situation going on in my face I'm sure you've noticed that the past couple weeks I've got zits everywhere they're just popping up like crazy and driving me crazy so they're totally back Oh, and then just one thing I wanted to mention is that how everybody says that their hair is like so magnificent and luscious and beautiful and wonderful and way cooler than normal when they're pregnant, I totally haven't noticed that about my hair. My hair has been pretty much the same the entire time I've been pregnant compared to before I was pregnant, so I don't know why that's not affecting me. My hair's not getting any nicer or less nicer. It's pretty much the same. So I just wanted to mention that because it's something that a lot of ladies are like, oh, it's so wonderful about being pregnant is your hair gets so beautiful and mine is not any different. <laughs> I definitely notice how much stronger he is getting every day and how much more he moves every day. Just like the amount of movement, like when he moves one time, you definitely know that he's moving in there. So, and I can almost kind of feel where he's at in there. I think I might have mentioned that last week. You can feel like one side's kind of squishy, one side's kind of hard and that sort of thing. Um, he definitely likes to kick up in the rib cage vicinity the past couple weeks. And I explained that to you guys because I am measuring big. So he's all the way, like way up high already. So he's all up in my business lately. Exercise hasn't been that great. I think I only worked out once this week. We went for a walk or I went to the gym or something just one time this week. And I know I can feel it getting worse and worse because when we go for walks that are too long, like I know I explained to you guys a couple weeks ago, maybe last week or a couple weeks ago that we went for one walk and I needed to rest like halfway. My like hips were hurting me like at the very beginning. It was just sucky. And like I said, I can't really predict when my back is going to hurt me. So walking sometimes is not a very pleasurable experience. It kind of sucks. So I can see myself getting worse at working out just because sometimes I just feel so uncomfortable when we go for walks. Even just basic things like walks just kind of make me feel blah. I have had some trouble falling asleep and waking up early this week, but I think it's a little better than the last couple weeks. I think it's been getting a little bit better. It's not super sucky every single day, and I've been getting right about my eight hours, so sleep hasn't been too, too bad. I did have a couple nights where heartburn and indigestion like just burning throat sensation was going on when I was trying to fall asleep so that was not cool that did not help me try to fall asleep that was really sucky actually I'd have to like sit up every minute or so and just kind of sit there and then just wait and hope that it's not going to come back and I'll try to lay down again but then it'll come back so that was kind of sucky my emotions have been good. I haven't had any food aversions or anything like that. I've discovered almond butter, which is stinking delicious. I bought the Justin's brand vanilla almond butter. So good. That stuff is wonderful. I'll eat it on celery. Like, I'll eat a whole freaking stalk of celery just with that stuff. It's so awesome. 
Another thing is that I'm so tired of salad. Holy freaking crap, I'm tired of freaking salad. <laughs> Every week to work, I just get a bag of spinach, I'll wash it all at home, add some broccoli and stuff, and make a bag of salad ingredients like I have all my salad ingredients and take it to work and leave it at work all week and so I have a salad every single day at work but this past week I'm just ever like there were like two different days where I got something else and I was like I just cannot do a salad today I have to go buy my lunch somewhere because I can't freaking take it I I used to love salad I do love salad I used to love salad I've always been a salad girl but holy crap it's like I just all of a sudden this week I've been like wow I eat too many salads. <laughs> I really can't stand them anymore. So there's been a couple days where I was just like, F that. I'm not having another freaking salad. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. I don't know. Maybe that is kind of a food aversion thing, but it's just totally, I've just come to the realization that I've been eating a salad like every single freaking day since I found out I was pregnant and I'm really, really tired of it. <laughs> I'm thinking about giving up on one pair of maternity jeans that I have. They're an under the belly style and they're skinny jeans. And I think I got them from Target on clearance when I very first found out I was pregnant and the under the belly part just like stabs me and it can be really uncomfortable and I think maybe it's because Calvin sits so low or because my torso is so little or just I'm little in general you know like I'm short so it's kind of compacted I wonder if that's kind of part of it if the belly is just weird on me because of my size but it's just been annoying like some days I just I hate those pants I'll because I have like three pairs of jeans that I wear to work and so I wear two pairs two days and then I wear that one pair that I really don't like one day and they just drive me insane some days. They absolutely, I cannot stand them. Plus they're skinny and I know I've explained to you guys, at least on my blog, I don't know if I have here, but holy crap, I like cannot stand skinny jeans some days. They just feel like they're like making my legs so claustrophobic and tight and uncomfortable and I just hate it because my legs have definitely gained a lot of weight. My calves, all everything from the belly down is like twice as big as it was before and so my legs are just so fat and chubby that like everything is just so freaking tight everything just bothers my ankles so I know I'm kind of losing it I sound like a crazy person but that's really a big deal I can't hardly stand skinny jeans and it really it's another thing that's just like day by day one day they'll be okay I can totally deal with them and the next day they make me want to just like tear my pants off if you want to hear more about my week, like my favorite moments, random thoughts and stuff I've been thinking about this past week, can go check out my blog. As usual, I always have a link down below so you guys can check it out there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what other kind of pregnancy stuff you want to see. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye!